curious what the room looks like in daylight. By the way, we painted it green. <laughs> Ultimately, we decided on the green because we knew we were gonna paint the bookshelf because we wanted it to read like a built-in and we just couldn't picture the bookshelf in red for some reason. The green just felt right. So that's why we went with it. It's called Peel Green by Benjamin Moore, P-E-A-L-E, -E, Peel Green. And it's just the perfect, like slightly olive, but with a cooler tone that still looks good with the couch and the rug. Although we are gonna replace this rug with one that is a bigger area rug. And I don't think it'll be green. I think we're gonna do like a contrasting color. So maybe red, we'll see. And then also our bathroom and the office area are both dominant red colors. So it just felt like too much red for the house. So that's why we went with green. The latest painting that Andrew is working on, it's a still life inspired by the Dutch masters. I think the texture of this picture is just like so good. And look at the texture of the glass vase in the background. So, so cool. It's already noon. I don't know where the time has gone. I got up early to edit day one vlog, but I always underestimate the amount of time it takes to do day one because day one is like me doing a lot of chatting about what Vlogmas is, what's going on, like the setup day. So day one is always a lot longer than the rest of the vlogs usually end up being. So it took me a long time to edit that. I am currently uploading it to YouTube now, but it's been a busy work day so far, wrapping up some projects. I'm off work tomorrow and Monday because one of my best friends is in town, so I can't wait to see her. And yeah, I'm just really excited and trying to like bust it to get things done early. We're gonna be doing some really fun stuff this afternoon. I'm really excited to show you. We're gonna go to Strand Bookstore. If you've never been to Strand, I'll, I'll explain more about it later, but yeah, I'm just really excited about it. And the reason that we're going to is gonna be kind of cool. But um, yeah, so we're going to Strand later. We're gonna go to a holiday market later in Union Square. And then we're also gonna get ramen. It's gonna be delicious. But yeah, for now, just wrapping up my work day as much as possible. It's my lunch break right now. So I'm gonna see about making myself something to eat. And yeah, I'll check in with you later. This has gotta go on the vlog. Okay, hold on, explain yourself. Come here. So I bought a frame. Talk to them about where you found it first. I found it on Invaluable. Invaluable.com. Yep. It's a great resource, much cheaper than First Dibs and much better experience, I feel, yeah, we than had, shopping on First Dibs for we, antiques. We had and, horrible experience on First Dibs. Yeah. Um, that was deeply unpleasant and very frustrating and took several months to resolve and was very expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't think I'll buy anything from First Dibs ever again. But Invaluable has been great. Mm -hmm. And I bought this. I got a good price on this. And um, I went to pick it up today. And... And it's insanely huge. It, it's a little too garish. It's loud. Yeah. It's um, an Italian... Uh, what's the... How old is it? Uh, the estimate was like about 1800. 1800s uh italian frame and this thing is loud i don't know where we're gonna put it it certainly cannot go in this living room not with this other frame there's like know. too many competing yeah. elements we're building a moody library <laughs> we have two i mean i did say we needed some more antiques but i wasn't <laughs> this isn't what you had in mind I, it's a little loud you know but i think we'll find a place for it Maybe in our room above our bed I mean, for I whatever painting we put I there. Can trim this painting down and put it in there. Or we can put this in how. the kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> this is the problem. We have, we like buying fun stuff and have nowhere to put it. Yeah. We started a gallery in the hallway because we had no room for all of these paintings that we have. I'll show you them at some point, but. It's, 
it's very hard in New York for like small stores to thrive. Like even this like little bookstore, mm -hmm. which is like so charming and well manicured, but will never have everything I need. And like the thought of going to like Target or something is like a full day. It's yeah. like, that's, it's an excursion. It's your whole day. It's like a huge inconvenience. Which, so true. And if you lived in the suburbs, you drive your car into the big box parking lot, strip mall, yeah. you know, and then you're in and out in like a half an hour. It's like... We were just talking about the perception of New York, me thinking like when I first moved here almost 10 years ago, I thought everything is in one place. It'll be so convenient because I can walk and get everywhere. But the reality is it's often very inconvenient to get to things only because like what like what stores can stock because they're so small because the rents are so high so they can only buy these small places or uh only being able to walk with what you can carry if you don't have a car which is the case for most people that live here yeah and you would think that would produce all these like niche boutique stores and it does but they can't they're compete so with expensive. amazon anymore yeah. So in between these chats about New York, we're actually on our way to Strand Bookstore right now. Do you want to tell them about Strand? Uh, Strand is the second biggest bookstore in America. Is it actually? Is it really? Yes. I did not know that. Yes. Uh, I know they have like to 18 miles of books or 22 or something. Yeah. I can't remember what it is, but it's an insane amount of books yeah. there. Yeah, we're going to Strand Bookstore. We're doing some wedding planning, actually. This is the second venue that we're going to see as a potential location for where we're going to get married. So that's really exciting. I really wanted a place that was going to have like a cool view. And Strand doesn't really have a cool view. But if you can't have a cool view, you could have a landmark venue. You know, like that would be pretty amazing. Yeah. So we're considering it and... Yeah, I mean, I think it's like a perfect, it would be a perfect place for us, really. It would be very us. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So I'm excited to, I mean, I've been to Strand multiple times. I used to go there like all the time after work, but yeah. yeah. Walking to Strand, we're running a little bit late. I think we're gonna just make it. So this is the rare book room in Strand Bookstore. We're on the top floor, so it's a potential wedding venue. No view. No, no view. It's not it's not about the view in here. It's like getting married. It would be like getting married at the New York Public Library, but without the like restrictions that they have. Because I looked into that too. And they have a list a mile long of all of the do's and don'ts, so it just didn't seem like the place for us. All of the books on this floor are like rare copies or first editions. Sometimes they're signed. It's really cool. It's been closed though since uh, COVID-19, I think, but they're just about to reopen it for potential uh, events. So this is where the ceremony would be, right there. These are their chairs. And then afterwards, people kind of go over here while they set up dinner. 
Then they have like a cocktail hour over here. All this stuff would not be here. What do you think? I think the space is very cool. Mm -hmm. um, I just hope that the other things won't be problematic. Yeah. We just left Strand. Yes, we did. I like the venue actually. Quite I think a it's a very cool space, but um, a little worried about the catering options. Yeah, and, and timing, and it's not really like. Yeah, I mean, everywhere is going to have their pros and cons, but yeah. the big con of this place is that they have preferred vendors that you have to use because it's a really particular space and their caterers know their venue really well so they will only let you use their caterers which is kind of a bummer because we really had like an idea of what kind of food we wanted to do so have to use theirs i don't know what their options are so maybe they'll have something good you know yeah, we'll, we'll have to see it. yeah and then the chairs are not the prettiest yeah, I don't think the furniture is going to be great, but I mean, no. we get like tablecloths and stuff. Right, so. right. I, and I don't love fluorescent lighting, but the space is really cool and it'll have like, like the festoon lighting and yeah. stuff, so that won't be on really when we're in there. Oh, look, there's Webster Hall down that way. A very famous music venue. So, yeah, so there's pros and cons to it. I think it's definitely on the short list, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it leaps and bounds better than. Yeah, yeah. So right now we're headed to dinner at Ipido. It's a ramen shop close to Strand. It's delicious. There's like a few of them in the city, but Ipido is like... Oh, is there more than one Ipido? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a small chain in New York City. Uh -huh. So delicious. I think it's my number two favorite place. Terracawa? Terracawa is number one. It's so good. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Ipido to get some ramen and then my BFFs, Callie and Brittany, are gonna meet us. They're getting ready at her place. Callie flew in from North Carolina, so she's gonna be here. I'm so excited. I haven't seen Callie in like two years. So, the reunion is happening. But yeah, the ramen, delicious, Ipido. Ready? Well, there's a Christmas tree in the secret ninja room. It's all decked out with boughs of jolly holly Lights are strung among the blades and throwing stars Stacks of greeting cards have been filled up for the party The Ice King is baking a fruit cake And Gunter is dancing to a playlist yeah, of his favorite songs It's a Merry Christmas Ninja Party The Ice King invited everybody Will anyone show and help build men out of snow? Well, the Ice King spent Christmas alone Ice King Christmas Party Ice King Christmas Party Ice King Christmas Party Ice King Christmas Ninja Party Bye. 
What do you think, y'all? I'm not really a fashionista, so let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> After an eventful evening out at Strand and the Union Square Holiday Market, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of that, and I will see you tomorrow. Night!